Oh yeah, the video. Let me show you that real quick before I forget. So this was in Harajuku, right in the middle of the street. People were just fucking playing this. Can you hear that? You better be getting that. Just wait till you hear him sing. Just wait. saying stop. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't press stop. Right, no permit. Well, I'm glad we got video of that one we did. You notice that they're not bitching at all. Yeah, that's something too that was interesting. The fact that, you know, if you saw something like this in America, They'd be like, oh man, get the fuck out, no. and they start like fighting and stuff like that. Here, they just tell them, you know, you're being a disturbance. Like, okay, and they just get up and leave. They don't fight the cops, they don't bitch anything, they just don't give a shit. And I always thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. In arcades and stuff, when people go in line, like, you know, somebody gets beat really bad, nobody gets angry, ever. They just get up calmly and go back to the back of the line. That's it. Yep, go back the line. Yeah, Captain Dane, I'll explain that again sometime. But uh, I don't want to go on a huge tangent right now because my throat's about to, like, go out. I will probably explain it the next time I stream. No, laws are harsh in Japan if you're foreign. If you're a native Japanese, <clears throat> the cops don't really give a fuck, to be honest. Yes, I'm e actually eating a whole fucking pizza. Seriously. The uh, the only laws that they will really pwn you for in Japan, regardless of if you're native or foreign or whatever, is like shit like fucking killing people. Like if you kill somebody or like blow up a fucking building, yeah, they will be after your ass then. But for stuff like stealing or causing a public disturbance like this, they'll just be like, you know, just just don't do it again. Whatever, fuck off, you know. Um, let me put it this way. In Japan. No, okay, for those of you that know what... Well, it's not that Japanese are racist. It's just that it's more the cops are a little bit corrupt there. Um, you know what... Uh, for those of you that know what Sunnyvale Golf Land is, this will make more sense. But for those of you that don't know what it is, Sunnyvale Golf Land is a place in California that's this really crazy-ass arcade that is like some of the highest-level fighting game players go to it. Uh, some of the highest-level fighting game players, rhythm game players, all that stuff go to this arcade in Japan, or arcade in America, in California called Sunnyville. So if you can hold your own there, you can probably hold your own at tournaments. So on Capcom vs. SNK2, which is probably my best fighting game, I can win about 50% of the time at Sunnyville on a given day. So I'll usually win one, I'll lose one. So more like about 40% of the time, arguably. Probably about 40% of the time, I'll win at Sunnyville on CVS2. In Japan, I won about 3% of the time. So, I think I played somewhere around 100 matches in Japan, and I won 3 of them. People, the average level of a random average video game player there is way fucking higher than it is in America. 
because it's it's a normal thing over there. It's not like stigmatized here. It's normal. You see businessmen, you see women, you see uh, kids, you see adults, you see grandparents of all ages, all business types, all uh, styles playing video games. There's no real stigma there. So people overall are just better on average. In fact, no, video games are still a stigma in America. They're still definitely a stigma in America. And there's no more further proof of this than the fact that <clears throat> um, if you go and you watch stuff like on college humor and stuff like that, people still call video gamers nerds. There's still uh, a lot of stuff using stuff like nerds and geeks and stuff like that. There, it's just nothing. Going to an arcade is the exact same as going to the movies or riding your fucking bike. There is no stigma there whatsoever at all. Stigma here has gone down a lot. I'll say I'll agree it's definitely went down a lot. Uh, the stigma for video games, but it still exists some, to be honest, in my opinion. Um, something real quick I want to tell you about this really short story that happened to me there, and I'll never forget this. Uh, you guys know what Drum Mania is, right? If you know what Drum Mania is, um, it's a Japanese uh, rhythm game that came out before Rock Band and stuff like that, and I've done videos of it before. And uh, so I was playing it there, and I got up to let the next guy play, right? And the next guy was this, like, real, like, like smooth-looking guy. You know what I mean? Like, he had on, like, a suit and everything like that, you know? And, like, or, like, a real nice dress suit and stuff like that, you know? He had his hair all, like, done up and everything like that. And he, uh, you know, had, like, a like model-looking build and all that stuff, right, you know? And so with him was this chick who also looked equally, you know, modeling and stuff like that. Like, she had her hair all done up, dressed in, like, a nice outfit, you know, looked like a model and stuff like that, really attractive. And so he's got a cigarette in his mouth, and so does she, right? And they're just sitting there smoking and stuff like that, which, by the way, everybody fucking smokes there. There's actually ashtrays on the arcade machines and stuff like that, and the, uh, the uh, ashtrays and stuff like that are by the companies. So you can find, like, Namco ashtrays, Sega ashtrays, Nintendo ashtrays, uh, Sony ashtrays, stuff like that. Drum Mania is definitely harder than Rock Band for a lot of reasons, but Rock Band does have some pretty ridiculously hard stuff nowadays. Um, you will have to tell me about that person later, Jaws Drums, because if that's the same person, then I will flip out. You have to send me a message on that about YouTube sometime. There are Capcom ashtrays, yep. And people there smoke like a motherfucker. So you will smell like smoke anytime you come home from the arcades, by far. But the reason, here's the thing though, go back on the story. So this guy looks all modeling and stuff like that. He's got a hot chick with him that's sitting over his shoulder, who's clearly his girlfriend. He sits down and he puts his card in the drum mania machine, right? And when he puts the drum mania card in, it, re it shows all of his scores on songs. It shows all of his scores and stuff like that he's gotten on the previous songs. A drum mania ranks songs by percentage. It ranks them by, like, you got 99% perfects, 100% perfects, which is called full. If you got a full combo with 100% perfects, 98% uh, perfects, whatever. He goes down this list, and it's all 99 and 98% on the hardest difficulties on every song in the fucking game. And he even has full on, like, half the songs on that list. Now, for comparison, I've been playing Drum Mania for probably about seven years. I've gotten a full on two songs in my life. I've gotten full perfects on two fucking songs two times ever in my entire life on Drum Mania over seven years of playing it. And I have full comboed maybe like 60 songs, something like that. This dude had like 200 of them, basically fucking full comboed. He had a 98% on Model FT2 Miracle version. You remember that video I had on my profile? That Model FT2 Miracle version? He had a 98% on that shit. And he just sits down, and he fucking plays, and it blew my mind. He didn't have to try. Just blew everything in the fucking game away. And then he played his game, and he left with his fucking girlfriend, and I was just like, what? So that should tell you right there, there's like no stigma at all. In comparison, what did I get on Model FT2 Miracle version? Dude, I can't even pass Model FT2 Miracle version. I can't even get more than 30 seconds into the song. I can't even pass it, and he got 98% on it. So, yeah. I would be willing to place bets that probably less than five people in the Rock Band community can pass Model FT2 Miracle version. For a comparison, that's what this is. Uh, I just got my pizza from the freezer. I bought it. 
uh, at the store a while ago. This is model FT2 Miracle version. Dragon Taser might be able to. Japanese players are generally more laid back because there is a stigma in Japan where if you're an asshole, it reflects that the entire nation is an asshole. So if you're a dick, then people have the mentality that you are representing Japan to be a dick. So this is why theft is so little there, is because people don't want to be a thief and then represent the whole country as a thief, or as being thieving. So you can actually go and leave your umbrella and stuff like that if it's raining outside of most arcades, just leave it right there in a fucking container. You don't have to snap it up or put it in a container, and it'll never get stolen. I actually left my laptop on a, a couch in a hotel, and I forgot about it because I had to run to the bathroom, and I forgot I left it there for four hours. I went back down, nobody touched it. Biggest hotel in the fucking area, nobody even did anything to it. My words per minute is uh, between about 100 to 120, it depends. Uh, I actually already did Facade in Rage Machine. Um, I did videos of it, which will, they're archived on JTV, and I'm going to put them up on YouTube uh, next week. So I'm sorry, but I'm not doing that anymore tonight. But I am going through Japan videos and pictures and stuff like that, if you're interested in that, and I'm doing commentary on it. But yeah, this is Model FT2 Miracle version. I would do more, but I'm fucking, my throat's fucking shot. I can't really do accents or anything like that. I will try and play Quap tonight, though. But yeah, play home. Yeah, so basically, um, fuck off on this chart. People have full combo this. And I believe that somebody made a rock band chart. Uh, to the person who asked if I was going to do Through the Fire and Flames, I can't do it because I'll get hit by copyright immediately. So I unfortunately cannot do, um, I can't do uh, any of that stuff on YouTube anymore. I'm, well, I'm going to still be doing rhythm games on YouTube, but it has to be non-copyrighted stuff, so it has to be custom charts or charts where I've gotten permission from the band basically. So I'm still going to do rhythm games, Jam Legend, Step Mania, Rock Band, Guitar Hero, uh, all that stuff, but it's just going to have to be completely custom charts or stuff that I got permission from. So I am going to make, I'm going to make really fucking insane customs and do videos of those. I also don't have uh, Guitar Hero, or I don't have Pro Guitar, sorry. Uh, only pad noise doesn't work. It doesn't even matter anymore. They will automatically fucking wipe the video. It doesn't matter if it's Fucking only half the video has sound. It'll get wiped. Yeah, video game music covers. I am going to do that. Yeah, if anybody's made charts, feel free to send them to me. But you'd have to, uh, they have to be totally copyright free. Okay, somebody made... Wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure somebody made charts for Rock Band. I thought they did. Well, I have a Model FT2 Miracle version chart for Rock Band, but... Um, it's a custom, I mean. But I don't have Reaper anymore, so I kind of can't fucking do it. If I made it unlisted, uh, it, it'd still get found. And plus, that'd be a lot of work for like maybe like 50 people to see it, to be honest. Yeah, Konami songs, I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about it all for Konami. That's why I'm leaving up most of my uh, Konami stuff. Yeah, most people are going to have to quit. They, they have blocked all of my drum covers. All my drum covers have all been audio swapped because of copyright. Yeah, so anyways, on with the uh, pictures and stuff like that. Um, yes, little figurines. I don't know, I'll probably stream a little bit past 10 and stuff like that. It's, um, so yeah, so little Spider-Man figurines, stuff like that. I'm probably going to play a little bit more games uh, after this. I just want to go through these. 
Uh, these are all actually gorillas um, figurines. I don't know if these are official or not, but uh, yeah, I don't know if these actually exist. Well, I don't know if they actually exist like in manufactured form, but um, 